Hi guys, this is Dina and today I'll show you how to get rid of the tethering restriction on uh, Razer M. This device is running Android 4.11. This method will work on any Razer phone basically. You can get it done on Razer XT912, on Droid 4, which is XT894. Razer M XT907, Razer HD. However, make sure that you know what software version it's running because depending on what you use, routing method will be different. Okay? So for this one, for 4.11, I just use what's called a motor chopper. Pretty easy. Um, you just run this and and then you hit enter and it starts basically the routing and it takes about 30 seconds for everything to be done that's a one click process once you get the route going um, what you will have here is oops Let's go to apps. what you're gonna have is what's called a super user okay once you get that super user, you're fine. And then you will also need to get SQL, Light Editor. I think it's $2 on, on the market, or you can get the free copy online. But, you know, getting the paid version is always better for people who develop this application and make our lives easy. So, um, just to give you an idea of what we're going to bypass right now is we'll go to the hotspot. And when you try to turn it on, this will ask, or this will look for a subscription, and then tell you that you don't have a subscription, you know, so you have to sign up. What we'll do basically, we'll bypass that, get rid of that. This will help you with your flash device if you, let's say, have your razor on a different carrier, you don't have subscription through Verizon, or if you don't want to, you know, if you want to reduce your bill with Verizon. So, we'll cancel that, and then we'll go to SQL Editor. That, again, after we have done the root on the phone, you, you download SQL, you'll go to Files, and then when you first time access this, it will ask you for super user permission. You have to make sure super user is granted, okay? And then we'll go to Data and after data we'll go to data again okay so one more time SQL data then you go to data again and then we'll have to find what's called com Motorola Android um, provider settings okay that would be right there com Motorola Android provider settings okay We'll click on that, and then we'll go to databases, and then we'll go to settings. After that, you'll go to settings again. Okay, wait for it to how to focus. Let's see here. Okay, and then option number sixty-seven. Now your option might be, you know, it might might be number sixty-nine, might be fifty-seven depending on what you're running on, on the phone. But what you want to find is what is called entitlement check, okay? And ours is number 67. Um, if you can look at number 67, it says entitlement check, and it has number 1. So what we need to do is make that number 1 a 0. So we're telling the phone, don't do the entitlement check, don't look for subscription, just straight turn on Wi-Fi. So we'll go to that, and then click on it, and then hit edit, and then we'll change 1 to 0. Okay, so now it's 0, right? And then you go there, and you turn off the phone. If you already have the phone rooted, you don't need to reroute it again. As long as you have that super user, 
just get the SQL light and um, find that um, setting database and change it. Now, let's say if you factory reset the phone, you, you have to redo it again. Your root access will not most likely erase with factory reset unless it's just a temporary root. But um, you won't lose your root, so all you need to do is just get your SQL light back and um, go change that setting again. Okay, so we'll let it initialize right now. Find signal. Okay, and then we'll go there. Mobile hotspot. Turn it on. Okay. And your mobile hotspot will actually work if this had service right now, you see? So it says tethering hotspot active. Um, I won't be able to show you that it's working, working on this device, but I can show it to you on my own phone, which is an old Droid 4. So we'll go there, and I'll turn on the tethering. Let's see. Okay, it's on. Then we'll go here. And it should show ours. Let's see. Verizon Droid 4. Okay. Now I have my phone on Page Plus. Um, so I don't have a subscription through Verizon or anything like that. It's just flash to Page Plus with 3G service and everything. And so if I want to tether my computer, uh, my, my phone to my computer, I can certainly do that. I think I have a password set up on it. Mm. Let me remember what it was now. I'm going to hide it. Okay, it's now connected. Let's go to a website. Let's go to my favorite test website. Would be CNN. Just to make sure it's working. I think the signal here is so low. Let's see. Let's close this just in case and try the new one. I've never actually used my tethering, but um, let's see. Oh, I think I entered the wrong password. Yeah, no wonder it wasn't working. Let me see. I'm not sure what I set up as a password. Okay. Let's see. Is it still on Droid 4? Yep, connected to Droid 4. Okay, we're good to go basically. Let's go to speedtest.net. It's not it's not slow. I don't re really use a lot of tethering. I work from home, so but uh, as you can see it's still connected and we'll start, you know, we'll begin the test. Yahoo came up. Goodbye, Yahoo. Yeah, Pitch Plus has pretty decent 3G speed. For some reason, in this room, though, I don't have very strong signal, but it's still pretty good. 2.12 2 
megabits. You can still check your email and do all kind of good stuff, I guess. So, um, that was it, guys. That's how you enable tethering on your phone. Thank you.